All right, so we had the baby, and this is just going to be like a summary, like a recap of what happened on May 13th, because it happened pretty quick, and it wasn't exactly at all how we planned it. No. The birth plan <laughs> that was prepared well in advance went out the window. We didn't think, even get to look at it. I think there was only, I think there was only one thing on there that uh, actually... I don't even think well, one. The placenta. We kept the placenta. That's oh, the only yeah. thing on the birth plan that I think was anywhere near anywhere if near. If you want to find out what we did with that, <laughs> let us know. Um we went to the hospital on the thirteenth at seven thirty AM to try um a gentle induction. Um we tried Cervidil, um, which is a medicine that they can put inside the mom and then if it doesn't work they can take it out and so here is what happens with with that. Here's what happened. Did you want to say anything for yourself? No. Excited to have a baby today? Fingers crossed she comes today. <laughs> Okay, so this is called a contraction timer. Remember, mommy's belly is like squeezes tight. She's gonna she's gonna tell you when to start it. So you push start, like that, and then when it gets to thirty seconds, you can tell her you're doing a good job. You're halfway there, and when she tells you, okay, it's done, then you stop it, and then you just do that every time. Okay, can you do that? Why? Also, it's to see. So like when that's helping the baby get ready to come. It's helping mommy's body to get the baby ready to come. So we want to see, once they get to like, be close together, then we have to go to the hospital because that means the baby's coming soon. Okay? Thanks. It's 4.30. We went to the hospital at 7 today <laughs> to get, uh, what was it called? I don't know. To get something to help progress labor. And the contractions came like every minute apart and super intense um we had to get it taken out because it wasn't like helping me progress too many contractions too quickly yeah too many contractions too quickly no ah, dilation slow down ah, i'm still having contractions so yeah we had to so we left um the hospital after i got that put in and then we came back and because they were like a minute apart and they were saying that if they get if we get like five contractions in ten minutes to like come back so we were getting like six in a minute or something like that so we went back and then they had to stop it because it wasn't dilating yeah and now I feel really crappy 
crappy just like <sighs> detoxing I guess from the medicine so we're heading home I'm still having contractions though but they're not coming as frequent thank goodness um, they are definitely picking up in intensity I don't know it's just one of those things that you're just not meant to labor during the day that's all <laughs> yeah I was saying how it was so weird walking into the hospital with like people around because <laughs> we always went into the hospital at night um, where the hospital is pretty quiet at night here anyways so poor Michelle had to walk through with like the huge yoga ball because they don't have yoga balls in Charlottetown um, yeah so we yeah we left and gone and now we're going home to our children and I hope that I can rest and, and see what happens with this um, but one good thing is like my heart rate wasn't elevating um, during the contractions that was something that we were kind of concerned about. Could yeah, and I could breathe through them. So, because um, breathing has been a challenge for me during this pregnancy. So, <sighs> yeah. Anyways, we'll see what happens and what what the day night brings and what yeah what's gonna happen moving forward. We do have to go back to the hospital tomorrow morning if we like if things don't progress or we're gonna go back to the hospital and just see I don't even know why we're going back to the hospital why do we go back to the hospital just to like see how doing. yeah no, yeah see how baby's doing and so if you wanna talk about a different plan yeah he basically told me to like not to go to any more appointments to just like go there so we'll see We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm having one now, so <clears throat> bye bye for now. So the unexpected happened. <laughs> That's why the ambulance is coming to our home. Um, I didn't have any contractions when I got to the house, and then went for a nap. 5:15, I woke up from the nap um, with a big contraction. Decided to go into the bath. And then things were happening pretty quickly. So at 5.45, Michelle calls labor and delivery, tells them we're going in. Then... <laughs> Contractions were coming about like two and a half, two minutes apart at that point. So we thought, you know, we should probably get going. Yeah. And then I couldn't get down the stairs. So I was like, we need to call the ambulance. Um, you were a bit hesitant actually to call <laughs> yeah. the ambulance. I was like, we should call the ambulance because you were struggling to get dressed out of the tub. And then halfway down the stairs, you're just, like, sweating profusely. So, yeah, here I'm, like, coming out, like, full contractions. Contractions coming right on top of each other. I'm, like, drenched in sweat. They got there, and my pants were off, and my head was in the deep freeze. Like, poor guys. The dispatch, uh, the, <laughs> the 911 dispatch was, like, getting us ready to, like, deliver at the house. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. and then here, I wasn't totally in it because here you can see I tried to take a picture of Destiny being loaded up, but that's the picture I got. So clearly, like, I was a bit scatterbrained as well. It was a bit of a, I felt like I was like calm and collected, but that's evidence right there that probably I was in, a little out of sorts He's as well. He's like checking the doors to make sure they're locked. You know, the kids are all home. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's funny. But so we called the ambulance at 603. They got there at 612. And then we had her at 6.15. The time is a little bit so here, off on our... Yeah, here, I was getting ready to follow the ambulance, and he just came over and said, she's crowning, so we're going to go ahead and deliver her here. So as I read it there, as I walked <laughs> up, he closed the door over, like, she she was born. Like, she just, I saw her come out and onto the table, a little discolored and... Um, yeah, yeah, she was blue. Her cord was wrapped around her neck. And it was funny because when we got in the ambulance, he, like, looked and he's like, okay, hey, she's not crowning. And as soon as he, like, looked and said that, like, I felt her head come down the birth canal. And I was like, look again, <laughs> look again. And he's like, no, you're not crowning. And I was like, no, look again. <laughs> and yeah, he looked quick. and, like, her head was already out. Like, it, it, I, yeah, I just couldn't stop it and that was the first moment that i realized oh my gosh i'm not Having like a baby today. yeah it's i'm real not like labor. three centimeters <laughs> i was determined the main reason i wanted the ambulance is i was determined that um 
I didn't want to have to walk through our <laughs> hospital because it's quite a walk. So I was determined to not do that. So, I so thought, here, here I was a little concerned when they closed the door because I'm not like she was a little blue. They're trying to give her oxygen. I didn't really know what was going on. Her face was completely bruised um, all over her face. It was it was like blue and purple. So you made sure not to have to walk through the hospital, and you just got you know. You had to ride a stretcher around, so well done on that. <laughs> when I went into emergency, they're like, yay! Like, I was in there so much <laughs> throughout my pregnancy that so many of the doctors and nurses knew who I was. So it was kind of interesting to see um, them just kind of celebrate with me. It was like my last hurrah through there. <laughs> so here I think, uh, you know, right, they're getting ready to, to have you go, and then they said we could have the kids come out, so they all are parading out here in, in order of age. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just spontaneously to come out, and Chance was so excited. He's like, oh, cute. as soon as the door opens, he's like, oh, cute baby. <laughs> Everybody else was just in awe. I think Destiny was able to see their faces a little more than yeah. I was, but. It was exciting. They were all, like, super happy, even Darius, <laughs> which we <laughs> barely ever get a real smile from him, but he was super thrilled. So then, now here's Michelle's reaction just moments after he's kind of, you're not really following the ambulance, but you're heading to the hospital. So I think this is, I, it's great that you got this because it's kind of. I was thinking you might like this. Yeah. Uh, it was it's perfect. not really something I, I would have instinctively done, but I thought we should probably capture some of this in the moment. So I'm on the way to the hospital. Destiny just delivered our beautiful baby in the back of an ambulance in our driveway. So she was trying to nap and kept having some contractions wake her up. So she thought she would go take a bath in the bath. They were coming about every two and a half minutes. And so we said, okay, we gotta get going. Cause we weren't sure if it was still what was kind of left over from what it started this morning, kind of wearing off or it was really her going into labor. And then we decided to call labor and delivery, say we're on our way. As we were getting out of the bath, her out of the bath, they just started coming like every 30 seconds. Barely got her dressed and down to the middle of the stairs and we decided to call 911. The uh, dispatcher on the 911 was kind of instructing me since they were coming like pretty much every 30 seconds and then pretty quickly, uh, pretty quickly they started to just be consistent. It just started to be consistent contraction. We we're gonna lay her down. Right as we were about to do that, Destiny was pretty hesitant to, to deliver in our house. She was resistant to, yeah, to do that. Uh, paramedics showed up, they got her strapped in and back out into the van. I jumped in the car because I thought I was gonna be following to the hospital and then uh, one of the guys came over and said, she's crowning, so they're just gonna live her here. I walked over, walked up into the back of the, the ambulance and out flew our beautiful baby, our beautiful baby girl. So I'm just on my way to the hospital now. It looks like everything went really well and really quick, but uh, I'll find out more soon here. But that, as far as I can tell, everything, <laughs> everything amazingly happened quickly and without much incident. Safe in our birth. You couldn't plan this. <laughs> that was insane. That was, that was insane. It wasn't part of our birth plan. <laughs> Next time. Oh, I can't believe I hit her in the driveway. Oh my gosh. Where do we put, like, when they ask, like, where she was born? Birthplace. I'm just gonna put her address. Warren Grove. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so in shock. Like, literally still in shock. I cannot believe I just delivered their baby in our driveway. You just delivered our baby two hours ago. Like me? Not as much as you know. <laughs> I think I think the reason I'm in such shock is I was like, oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna get to the hospital. I'm gonna be like three. You yeah, know, I think I'm less in shock because I knew it wasn't the it was like real labor when you're in the tub. It wasn't like just leftover from this morning. <laughs> I feel like you still thought it was leftover from this morning. Yeah, I did. Oh, I was 
after pins. The after pins are like the worst. Did you hear him? He said, "Oh, cute." Who's this? He's a baby. Are you gonna? I can't believe. Did I scare you guys? Yes. The ambulance got here. Uh, Gary just looked out the window. Was like, she's a baby. And I'm like, and I'm just like, can you see? <laughs> Hi, Ezra. Look at your sister. Could you believe I just had a baby in the driveway? No. <laughs> Mommy Nair has a baby in her house. <laughs> Hi. So that's what happened, and we're so happy that we have her now to hold in our arms. I'm so grateful that I have my wife back, <laughs> who's not constantly getting sick multiple times yeah, a day, and nice. for the most part <laughs> is happy and healthy. Um, and then everything went well. Like, what a crazy birth story. Like, everything went smoothly, considering <laughs> everything that happened. And a huge, a huge uh, shout out of gratitude to Island EMS and all yeah. of the staff at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I think uh, it was really amazing to have them there to help us through this experience and this <laughs> this last part of the journey. Yeah, I think like, you know, not only were we with like labor and delivery nurses, but um, the emergency room was um, some place I spent a lot of time at, especially near the end of my pregnancy, well, even the start of my pregnancy too. So I just, I don't know, I just feel really grateful that we live in a country that has um, free health care. And uh, yeah, because they were pretty incredible. And all of just like the OBGYNs that were in Charlottetown, we seen, I think there's like four of them all together that we seen. So <laughs> they were all amazing. Um, and I couldn't have done it without the support of everybody and the support of my family either. So thanks for watching. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.